Hey guys, it's Johnny here from Weeby Gamers. Um, today I'm going to be continuing on with Neo, this samurai action RPG. Um, like I mentioned last time, just a uh, fair warning, this game is rated M. Uh, it is for mature audiences only, so it's, it's a bit of a, a huge difference from Paper Mario. But today I'm hoping that we'll get through this intro level. Um, there's a little bit of a boss battle at the end of it, but I'm hoping that we can get through it today. Ooh! Got a blue rarity spear. You know what? Actually, let me go around. That guy won't see me. I don't think. If I go around... Oh! Does it continue going up? It does continue going up. But let's go ahead and explore this area thoroughly. Uh, okay. That was sloppy. Thankfully, the axe is powerful. Okay, so there's a staircase that goes up this way. Uh, okay, I'm a little worried that this actually... Okay, yeah, no, that actually goes to the final boss area, so I actually want to first finish exploring the rest of this area. So, I already got that treasure, so you know what, I'm not going to mess with that guy. You don't have to fight absolutely every enemy in this game, so... I definitely could beat him, but don't have to. Oh, okay, so this is where they kind of want to teach you drop attacks. Oh, that's the guy I just fought. So you could have... You could have gone just coming around and, and drop attack, been like, Ah, you are no longer with us. You're no longer among the realm of the living. Okay. I think for this fight I'm going to want my sword. Oh, even my guardian spirit is telling me to come this way. Hello. How you doing, Derek? Hey Derek, how you doing? I see you got a big axe. And you got like some dark. Oh, 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 okay, this guy is no joke. This guy is no joke. I should not be playing around as much. Alright, alright, yeah, come on. Come on, Derek. You know you want some. Alright. Does he have a follow up after that? I don't even know. You know what? Let's take out our axe. Let's make sure when he comes out of it that. We do something that's actually meaningful. Alright, let's switch back to the sword. Hello. A little poke, a little poke and dodge. How about a poke? No, not close enough. Poke! Hello! <laughs> I poked you. Ah, oh, well, that's the end of Derek! Or is it? Spirit. That's right, she's mine. Stay away from her. Red eyes. I, I wonder, do you think he's a villain? I, die, I wonder if he's a villain. Stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. That's actually interesting to me, because... Oh no, actually, I guess I do get spirit stones that give me Amrita. But this guy seems to be able to do a lot more with Emrita than I am. All I can do with Emrita is level up. But I guess that makes sense in the story. Sense gives me, you know, the ability to fight back. So Edward Kelly just made the Executioner come back. Alright. We'll poke. We'll get out of there. Oh, I guess I don't have iframes necessarily when I dodge through that. Well, I got tons of medicine, and I don't think any of this carries over, so... Poke! Poke, poke, poke! Poke, poke, poke! Oh, oh! No, 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 no! Follow up the charge, get out of there! Okay, so you can see the enemies. Yokai's actually have purple uh, key gauges so once their key gauge goes down to zero you can actually form a plunging it oh I'm actually supposed to story demands that I do a living weapon living weapons are actually kind of handy in the game as well that's actually a really cool one ah I executed the executioner yay 
quite a feat. That's right. I am a powerful samurai. Oop. He's got his own guardian spirit, snake of some sort. Or something like that. Now this guy's got powers that, you know, are kind of just plot convenient. Oh, and he's gone. No! My guardian spirit! Ooh. Get shot at. Time to get out of here. Jump, 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 jump! Here! Oh. And... Ooh! Shot to the shoulder. Yikes. I guess it's better than getting executed. Ooh, glowing. Gather your courage, William. You need to find your guardian spirit and get her back. Black screen. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh. Looks like our William got himself a ship. Oh, he's got a little amulet with the feather in it. Man, he must have been really good friends with that guardian spirit. Yeah, the idea of sailing on boats like that always kind of scares me. Voyage, Seems like it would be really unpleasant. The Helloff was lost. The trow sank. While the hope vanished without a trace. Oh boy. The good news of the Blider boats hub was nothing but lies. Only Liefde remained. Liefde. Sounds kind of German. Oh, he's got a little stone of Amrita as well. An ironic twist. For what awaited us in the Far East wasn't love. It was monsters of death. Ooh. I really love this. This title screen. With the sword, it looks so majestic and, and regal. Before I begin my preparations for landfall, I'll leaf once more through that curious book I chanced upon. Recorded inside, uh, recorded inside are the memoirs, the memoirs of a, uh, I can't read today, of a sailor who had once paid visit to the land of Zip, Zipangu. Precisely how this document wound up in the hold of a ship of this ship when its author was clearly the, ha, uh, when its author clearly belonged to the crew of a different boat is beyond me. But here I am, poring over its pages, all the same. Not for the first time this voyage, I may add. What fascinated me above all else was the memoir's many accounts of Zipangu's diverse armor and weaponry. Okay, so I'm thinking on my first playthrough I actually had dual swords in a Kusaragama. I think this time I'll, I'll go with a sword and an axe probably. I think I might also include a spear in my build later, just to kind of be like a weapons master. But I think I'll just go with a sword as my primary weapon. Okay, the sailor of the memoir seemed to have spent quite a lot of time in Zepangu and succeeded in keeping the company of samurai. He writes in detail the accomplishments, the establishments in Zipangu called dojo, where people, including samurai, congregate for instructions in the martial disciplines. Just reading the sailor's vivid accounts, I feel as though I am there in the flesh watching these warriors as they train. The samurai is master of many armaments and trains for combat in every imaginable scenario. If I were to use another weapon, which one would I choose? I would choose an axe, I believe. Yeah, might as well get some stamina. I also want to be able to use decent armor with this build. Uh, the memoir also asserted that the samurai are knowledgeable in martial arts. First, they know of which fighting stance to use in each situation, high, mid, and low. Second, after each attack, they ready themselves for their next strike using their focusing their ki or inner energy. Third, once their ki is readied, the samurai can use purification techniques to rid them, their surroundings of maleficence. I know not how to explain it, but I feel as though I have some innate ability to grasp all these concepts and have experimented many times with each technique. 
The memoir states Sipangu is home to 8 million gods and, their, and other deities. Exactly how this figure was derived, I can only imagine, but as I cast my gaze to the shore, I am struck by the sensation that some mystical power has been keeping watch over me. It is an energy that reminds me of a Seors. Seors? Seors. Yeah, I might as well just say Seors. I put pull out the memoir once again, once more, and survey each page until I arrive at the guardian spirit that best matches the force I am sensing. Okay, so we have Kato with strength. And... Isonade gives me extra spirit and skill. Okay, so I definitely don't want skill because none of my weapons are really going to rely on skill. Between Isonade and Kato, I think Kato is a very popular choice with this kind of build, but I almost want to pick Isonade to get that extra spirit so I don't have to use my levels up on spirit, like as on as many, because I'm definitely going to want to like get the minimum amount of spirit levels in order to use all the attributes of the spirits because they're like so over oh, they're op they're they're they just do so much good things for you and as you get other spirits having more spirit is a positive and strengthens the attacking power i don't need more attacking power with a sword and axe i'm going to be doing plenty of damage so i'm going to pick the the shark spirit okay at this point i could just um begin i could just continue but you know what we have a bit of time. I'm going to go through the, the dojo tutorial. I have a feeling that you, if you skip it, you don't get as many skill points. But I'm going to find out for sure now. This dojo is a training ground for samurai. It is filled with blood, sweat, and tears of uncounted warriors who polish their techniques within its walls. These long traditions and secrets are handed down from generation to generation of samurai. All right. So let's just hurry on through this tutorial. I got my wooden sword, let's equip it. Oh, no. Oh, that's ranged weapon. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Yay! Alright. Proceed to the next tutorial. Okay, strong attack yet. Yeah, I know I know this. I know this. Okay, lock on, switch target, I got it. Hello. Okay. If I remember right with this tutorial, I actually have to dodge a bunch before I kill him, otherwise I can't continue. Did I not do it right? It's not my fault he's easy to read. Alright, do I have to block a couple? Hello. I block you. I block you. Yep, yeah, I block you. I dodge you. Do I have to like dodge at the last second or something? Come on, attack me. There we go. Okay, now I'm okay. Alright. Maybe it's just three enemies, I forget. High stance, low stance. Yep, yeah, okay, I got it. Oh, I gotta go high stance. Low stance. Hello. Hello. You gonna attack me yet or what? I'll attack you. I got no qualms about that. In mid stance? Okay. Hello. Yay! I'm learning how to be a samurai. A samurai. A samurai. Okay, key pulse. Yep, I got it. Yep. Key pulse. Okay. Yokai Realm purification. Hello. You gonna make Yokai Realm? 
There you go. There we go. I purified that yokai realm, yokai realm, yokai realm. Okay. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Okay, I use both weapons. Thank you. Alright. Ooh, range weapons. I love range weapons. They're like the best. Alright. Okay. They're all equipped. Alright. Hello. Living weapons. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay. They're all complete. I guess I don't actually get anything for that. Okay. That's fine. It doesn't it never hurts to have a little bit of a refresher on how to play the game properly. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny because those are actually the two weapons that I was planning on using. Okay, so we'll close the memoir. Is that okay? Yes. And I do believe... Okay, the dinghies have been ready for us to make landfall. For now, all I have read on this country, nothing can truly prepare me for what now lies ahead. I put the memoir down and leave my cabin. All right. So... Oh, I guess I could have read the description on the play of the area, but there's the leaf day. Looks like it's a, in a bit of tatters. I wonder if our William is alone now. Ooh, I wonder what that item could be. Looks like we have some guardian spirit fishes floating around a dead body. I wonder if that's going to be a sword, the weapon that I chose as my primary. Yep. Yeah, the sucky thing is, though, even though I've done the tutorial, it'll probably still take me through. So this is a level one um, sword. I think I have some Amrita memories. I don't really need to read them all. I know how to do these things. I'm just going to search the area just adjacent. Okay, so that's a shortcut that we can open a little later. You can see we can kick down the ladder. Oh, and don't hesitate to just trash areas. If you trash places, you'll very often find yourself some gold or some items. If there's some boxes, feel free to just break them down. Oh, cool. We actually got enough Amrita for our very first uh, level. So let's check out this Guardian Spirit. I wonder what's different about this Guardian Spirit. So, 8, 10, and 11 are the thresholds where we unlock new abilities for our spirit. We get spirit protection, we get sense enemies. Okay, so that's cool. Life is plus 100, close combat life recovery. Close combat life recovery? Restores health when you defeat opponents. Oh, that's awesome! And human close contact combat damage. And then strong attack key reduction. This is actually really cool. And the attack enhancement is definitely better. Um, oh, and the usable time is really long. But the gauge doesn't fill up very fast. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, because I bought the deluxe package, 
I do get some boons. I get some some free items. I get some free weapons and such. Although I'm, I was thinking I might not actually um, use them. I might try to stick with just the items you get in game, just to make it a more authentic experience. Experience. I'm gonna level up Spirit because, like you could tell, the 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 abilities you get from Spirit are pretty OP. And I do believe that I will stop this video right here. It's more at about the 20 minute mark. Um, before we get too deep into this first level, this wonderful, wonderful game. Um, sign off for now. Um, this is this is Johnny from Weeby Gamers, and thank you so much for uh, for hanging out with me, for playing this game. Um, I, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. Of course, leave a, a like or subscribe to our channel if, if you've been liking these videos or our other playthroughs. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any um, suggestions or pointers. Of course, I'm very new to this, but I've been enjoying it, so um, we'll see you next time.